create a new VM. So now that we understood our VM environment, it's time to create a new VM for installing eBusiness Suite 11i. So I'm going to go back to Oracle VM Manager console and here I'm going to go to the server pool. Okay. And then here I'm going to right click it and then hit the create virtual machine icon. So either you can do it from here or as an alternate, you can also click on top I think there is, should be a method to create a virtual machine look at that this icon you can use it okay so any one of the icon if you use it it will pop up a dialog box for you to start creating the virtual machine now in this screen you've got either to create a virtual machine from scratch or you can clone it from an existing VM template if at all there is one so in our case we don't want to clone it we want to create a new VM so hit the next button and then here fill up the parameters make sure you choose the right repository so as I said I'm gonna choose the third one this one okay and I'm gonna give a name to this particular VM so let's say 11 I to 12 to 12 to 4 upgrade okay so that's the name of the VM I have given so here you can optionally write some demonstration VM to demonstrate Oracle e business suite 11i to 12.2.4 upgrade okay and here in terms of the processors I'm going to give it 24 processors the maximum okay and then in terms of the memory you just give as 128 gig the entire memory that is available at your disposal okay which comes to around 1024 multiplied by 128 so let's keep this as a whole okay and then operating system Oracle Linux 5 which is right we're going to use Oracle Linux 5.7 so which is correct and mouse device type is default and domain type is an HVM which is also fine and looks like everything is okay and then hit the next button so here you can add a network to this one and if at all you want more virtual network cards then you can create one if you like okay but I'm gonna leave it as it is and then I'm gonna hit the next button okay so the first thing I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna create a CD DVD type of a disk because that will be the one we will use to boot the machine and to install Oracle Linux okay I will come back to this later to give the link to the repository where we will load this Oracle Linux DVD okay so leave it as it is and then you go to the second one in the second one you create a new virtual disk and let's say here I will create a new disk and you can optionally give it a name so you say something like VD VD 11i to 12i fine and then in terms of the size I'm gonna give it a one terabyte something like thousand gig and then I'm gonna click OK 
Okay, so that's about it. I don't think we require anything else here. And then hit the next button. So in terms of the boot options, you can say for the first time start booting from the CD-ROM and then you boot from the disk later on once CD-ROM has been taken off. Okay, and then hit the next button to see what else is there. You can always come back to that if you feel like changing any settings that you have missed okay and then you hit the finish button and then as you could see here the new virtual machine has been created so in the next movie we will present a linux based cd to this vm for linux installation